Shut up and sit down. Speech on sports and games. Sports and games speech for students in English. Good morning, everyone. Today I would be giving a speech on sports and games. I am glad that I got this topic because it's exciting and the youth would relate to it. Sports and games classes are compulsory in most schools. This is because children need to adjust to hard physical work and not get tired quickly. At first, it's quite tricky, no matter what sports it is. But slowly, one's body gets adjusted to the movements, the strokes, the gestures, etc. There are various others, pros and cons of sports and games. For example, sports like karate or judo act as a self-defense mechanism. Girls and boys should learn hand-to-hand -hand combat so that in case they have to fend for themselves in real life when someone attacks them, they can easily do so. Our bodies, muscles and bones are well exercised when we participate in some kind of physical sport. Whether it be football, swimming, boxing or any other sport, it provides us with strength and makes us more energetic. For some people, sports is a stress buster and makes their heart and body calm and serene. In the case of indoor sports and games, it requires a lot of mental effort than physical. Games like chess, cards, billiards, etc. You need to think and play. Players need to have a strategy and need to have a clear understanding of the rules and regulations. Sports and games not only keep our mind and body healthy, fit and composed but also act as a good pastime. You can learn any sports or games during leisure hours and master it. It's an excellent form of entertainment too. Many people in this world are fans of sports, whether it be cricket or baseball. We pay to watch other people playing sports and we are excited to see them. Sports and games teach us life lessons outside of the classroom. It teaches us to trust, loyalty, to tackle situation calmly. It teaches us that even if you fail, you should never give up and practice harder to taste success. People should discover and explore all types of sports and games. That way, they would be able to understand what sport is best suited for them. However, you should not overwork yourselves. You should play according to your limits because your body cannot take too much pressure. You need to get accustomed to the practice and for that, a lot of time is needed. You need to be devoted to the sports or game you have opted for. You need to stop treating it like just a hobby. If you want to excel in it, you need to give in your all. While playing, you need to focus on the game entirely. You have to leave all other thoughts behind before entering the playground. If your mind is occupied with thoughts, then you would tend to overthink. You need to play the game and enjoy it. You need to let the energy channel through your body automatically. Therefore, sports and games are indeed an essential part of life and people should learn one sport or engage in one game in life. Schools and colleges should encourage students to learn things outside of textbooks. Thank you.